Hey guys and girls, my name is Alan and welcome to today's map walkthrough video. So as you might have heard by now, Uncharted 4 did get a multiplayer update and as per usual I did watch through the live stream that they did regarding the update, uh, made note of all the information and I put it into a handy video for you to, guys and girls to enjoy. That video is already on the channel now, probably the one just before this one, so if you're interested to know what was released, uh, all the new stuff etc, um, then head over, to, head over to the video and check it out. Uh, in this video I'm going to do a map walkthrough as I did with the previous two DLC maps that were released and on Acorn Vision Gaming I am actually going to upload my um, completion of the uh, Asgard mystical trial so uh, again if you want a bit of help completing that or you just want to see how I did it then head over to Acorn Vision Gaming but for today as I said we will do the map walkthrough for the new DLC map so the new DLC map isn't technically new well it is new but it's it's basically you know it's been brought back from two previous games, uh, Uncharted 2 and Uncharted 3. So the, the map is called Village. Uh, if you've never played Uncharted 2 and Uncharted 3, uh, well, I, I guess you're in for a treat. It's quite, it's quite a good map. It's one of the fun maps. Um, they have sort of redesigned it slightly, and obviously I'll show you that as I do the walkthrough. So uh, I'm just going to get it started, and then we'll, uh, we'll start talking about it. Okay, so if you've played Uncharted 2 and Uncharted 3, I mean, you'll know the general layout of the map made uh, some of them quite significant actually so um, I'm interested to see how the map flows because of that alright so as you can see we spawned at Villain's base which is at the bottom of the village uh, if you've never played this map before the, basically the map kind of slopes downwards so base is the villain side and up north is what I call it is the hero spawn now immediately as you can see this room used to be completely sealed off there's only one way in one way out but now there is this entrance here you can see they've introduced rope swings, so they've, they've changed the map accordingly to accommodate the new uh, mechanics such as rope swings. So there's one rope swing here, and there's a couple more around the side of the map as well, and I'll show you those in due course. And there's a little <coughs> climb out place here, or climb in, depending on your, uh, your approach, and a little slide to get out. So straight away, just from that one room, there's at least two new changes, right? Uh, and as, as we go through the map, you'll see there's one or two more as well. But in general, the layouts, I mean, the buildings are in the same places. Uh, it's just that they've done different things. Uh, and I messed that up completely. So yeah, this room, largely unchanged, exactly the same. Uh, but there's a wall here. So usually, you, well, in previous games, you could see straight across. But in this one, as you can see, it's completely blocked. Uh, so you've only got a smaller line of sight. Um, and again, another rope swing here. In fact, I'm going to do it clockwise, because I don't want to confuse anyone, including myself, about what's going down. Uh, okay, these walls are the same, as far as I know. Okay, so, buildings, as I said, same the same places, uh, layouts are the same. However, as you can see, there is a closed door. This, this room here, and I'll talk about it when we get to the end, has changed dramatically. This is all the same. You can go on the roof, go underneath. I'd say all this is the same. Uh, I'll climb up top of it just to show you if you've never played it before. Yeah, all of this untouched, exactly the same as it was. And now we're getting close. To, we're past the halfway point, by the way. This building's like the middle of the map. Uh, so once you pass it, you know you're either north side or south side. Uh, all these walls, the same. However, this one is different. This never used to be here. Uh, as far as I know, it used to be like a low wall, but now they've raised it up and it's like a platform. Uh, there is another rope swing there to help you get into that building there. And now we're approaching, this is the north side, so as I said, this is the hero spawn. Uh, this building never used to be here either, um, or at least you couldn't get access anyway. You, the, the frame used to be here, but you couldn't get inside it or above it or anything like that. Um, and this is where heroes spawn. Again, another rope swing, this never used to be here. In fact, this high entire area, I don't think, used to be accessible at all. So what they've done is they've sort of opened it up. Um, there used to be, actually, tell a lie, there used to be this one room here. So the wall used to go straight across, and that was it. Again, one way in, one way out. But now they've put this in, so you can go up there. And obviously, you've got the side route, so you can do the rope swing. Again, similar changes to what they've done with the, the villain spawn. Oops. That was a big-ass fail. All right, so that was embarrassing. Um, well, I guess I might as well go the reverse side um, save me going around all the way again so rope swing obviously will take you there uh, in fact if I go top side to show you 
Okay, so this this top bit here used to be that there was a wall across there, and you couldn't go. So basically, you could either go this side or you can go that side, uh, and there was no wall there to climb up behind. Uh, but now they've added that hole in the wall. Uh, they've also added one down here as well. So again, this used to be all sealed, uh, but now they've opened it up so you can go through it, you can go up it, you can go below it. I guess it just adds a bit more flow to the map. Um, they did say the map is a bit bigger because of all the changes they made. I mean, obviously you can see that for yourself if you've played the previous two versions, uh, but it is. I mean, it's mainly the north and south side. The central bit is largely untouched, as I said, apart from the central building, but I will cover that in due course. Um, this top bit, the same. However, uh, they... No, exactly the same. I thought they'd change something, but they haven't. They've... This is the one. that This was never here before. This building used to be inaccessible, so it used to be that basically there was a fence here, and then, so what they've done is they've opened it up a little bit, so you can now cut through this building, uh, which allows you to obviously, it's like a flanking route I suppose um, yeah so that's pretty much all it for the external changes I think yeah and that's uh, hero spawn up there okay so alright actually while I'm here wow my jumping is not on point today I've been playing in chai for a few, for a couple, maybe a week or so so I'm a bit rusty I guess uh, also I'm a bit ill as I did say in my previous videos so not really on point thinking wise either I'm a bit stuffy and stuff you can probably hear that okay so this central bit here has changed a little bit it used to be that basically there were four points that you could enter the central bit but as you can see there is now a door there so that's blocked and you can't get in that way um, alright moving on to the central bit okay so this room there used to be a room that basically you could get in but as you can see now it's completely sealed off all the doors that one and on the far side as well and in its place and uh, there's a reason why I haven't showed you that fourth side is because I want to save it. So again, this used to be not here, uh, so you'd have like a pretty much decent line of sight, but now it's blocked off. And similar with this side, that never used to be there. So again, they've sort of cut off some of the, the line of sights, and also you can't climb up there anymore, obviously, because that's there. And the reason why they got rid of the fourth door is, well, it's the only door that remains open, but as you can see, it's just a one-way access, so it's a quick escape. And that is the entire room. You can't you can't do anything inside that room besides hide, and you can't climb up a slide. Obviously, it's the same. Yeah, so as you can see, it's you know it's that's pretty much it, um, and that's about it for the map. Um, as I say, it's quite a decent one. The fighting's kind of localized. What the hell's going on with the idol here? Sitting in the floor. <laughs> Random. Right, so that'll do it for this map walkthrough video. As I said, the trial for Asgard will go up on Acorn Vision Gaming soon, if not already live. So head over there if you want to check it out. Um, and until next time, thanks for watching, thanks for listening, take care, and I will see you later.